Hi, I'm Juan, and today I want to do a little follow-up from the video I made last week. Um, if you've seen it, you know that this is my gamepad. Uh, this is how it looks, I painted it. What you don't know is this. It has a different color. I changed the LEDs. Now it's orange. Now, uh, I want to show you how to do this, and I'm not going to redo mine, but I'm going to change the LEDs on the one from my girlfriend. Um, she Actually, she was the one who, who wanted uh, other colors, um, specifically pink. So I'm going, to do, I'm going to put pink LEDs instead of the green LEDs that come uh, in the default Xbox 360, 360 game controller. Before I begin, I need to test the polarity of my LEDs, and to do that I'm using a tester in test diode mode, which makes the diode and the LED glow whenever I'm touching the right pole and uh, the right poles. Once I've done that, I need to turn it around and check the under uh, the the other side of the LED, which usually has a marking. And in my case, that marking is a little green T on the plus side. So the problem with removing the LEDs is that you actually need to uh, heat up both sides of the LED. And unless you have specialized equipment, you can't do that with one uh, soldering iron. So the way to do that is to heat up both sides uh, at individually. Of course, it will cool down uh, pretty fast. So um, the trick you want you you can use to make it stay warm for for a longer time is to just put a little blob of solder on each side of the LED, and that solder will keep the each side of the LED warm for long enough that you can just remove the LED, like I did here. Now you need to remove the excess solder and to do that just swipe over the soldering iron over these blobs and try to get as much solder as possible from it. These little, little marks here, these white marks, are on the minus side of the LED. So for me that's just around like this. So I need to put my LED like this on the board and once it's there I just need to heat up the solar a bit touching the LED and then that's there or not. So that LED sticks. Now before I do all the other LEDs, I want to make sure that this works. So for that I need to put the, this rubber on top of the board and of course I need to get the battery there. Uh, I just need to hold it in place, I, I don't need the, uh, the whole case to keep it there. And there you go, that's a blinking pink LED. So now that, now that I know that, the, that these LEDs work, I just need to get on with the, with the rest of them. This is how it looks like. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching.